evening to all i am yogita the moderator for today's session i'm glad to welcome you all today's cell talk is being addressed by mr jay darji and the topic of his uh, talk is a comparative analysis of machine learning algorithms to predict alzheimer's disease our speaker jay is an electrical engineer with well developed skills in data analytics research and software development he is a good communicator and he has good interpersonal skills he is enthusiastic to learn and undertake new challenges he did his bachelor's in electrical engineering from the institute of infrastructure technology research and management also he has done voluntary work at the blind peoples association he as well did research in biomedical signal processing and machine learning in his summer internship at trinix life sciences he is working as a junior engineer in a technical research department for digital medicine he is responsible for developing various statistical methods for anomaly detection with human heart rate data captured with the help of wearable devices at trinix he has increased his technical knowledge while providing solutions and improvements to common industry problems in the long run he aspires to contribute significantly to industry development and optimization to create something that would genuinely improve the lives of thousands so without further delay over to you jay yeah thank you so much shobita for my introduction uh, hello everyone i'm jay darji and i'll be presenting a comparative analysis of machine learning algorithm to predict alzheimer's disease which is originally authored by morshidul bari and and others so the paper comparative analysis of machine learning algorithms to predict alzheimer's disease is related to digital medicine in alzheimer's disease the paper published in journal of healthcare engineering in 2021 which has an impact factor of 3.82 this research has an impact on detection of alzheimer's disease dementia disorders and correlation between artificial intelligence and alzheimer's so to start with i'll start with the introduction the alzheimer's disease has been a major concern recently around 45 million people are suffering from this disease Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurological disorder that causes brain cells to die and the brain to shrink. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia, which is defined as a progressive decline in cognitive, behavioral and social skills, skills that impairs a person's ability to function independently. Alzheimer's disease is a degenerative brain disease with an un- unspecified cause and pathogenesis which primarily affects older people alzheimer's disease and initial and initial changes in the brain begins 10 to 20 years before the onset of the symptoms the leading cause of this disease is dementia it progressively leads to memory damage and decreases thinking ability for treatment physicians tend to test individuals for alzheimer's disease by obtaining obtaining a medical family and psychiatric history a study show that the situation may be improved if people can detect alzheimer's disease in earlier stages so presently uh, in our time with economic development and the advent of computer technology the medical in- information processing technologies uh, doctors require fast and accurate ways to diagnose uh, sorry diagnose and detect the disease aiming to help patients and save their lives uh, there are many machine learning systems uh, which are doing so but they are uh, giving inconsistent and inaccurate prediction along with overfitting and underfitting issue so these are the present challenges uh, which brings us to the objective of this research so accurate detection of alzheimer's disease is an effective way in effective way is uh, one of the ma- uh, many researchers goal to limit or overcome the disease progression although there is no cure for alzheimer's a machine learning system can uh, reduce this problem by predicting the disease the main aim is to recognize dementia among various patients 
uh, this paper presents uh, the results and analysis regarding detection of uh, dementia from various machine, machine learning algorithms. Uh, so the method was, uh, here you can see the flow diagram of the entire experiment. So uh, the first step is to acquire the data set, then to pre-process it. Then after, uh, after the pre-processing is done, they have uh, splitted the entire data set into 80-20 split from which 80% of the uh, data will be uh, used for uh, training the machine learning algorithms and the rest will be used for testing the, uh, those models. So the first step in methodology is data acquisition. The magnetic resonance imaging MRI data from open access series of imaging, imaging studies, OASIS has been used for the development of the system. This data set has a dimension of 373 uh, rows and 15 columns. So those 15 will be called as features. So from that data set, the uh, researchers have used uh, eight features that, that have been listed on the screen, uh, which are uh, gender, person's age, how many years of education they had, their economic status, their mini mental state examination, estimated total intracranial volume, normalized whole brain volume, and the atlas scaling factor. So these are the fe uh, features that have been used for the model development. In pre-processing step, all the categorical features are converted to numerical value, and then to scale all these features, standardization method Z-score have been applied. Then the correlation between every feature was analyzed and based on that, the technique for handling missing values was decided. Since features with missing values had a high impact on the target, missing values were replaced with the median value of the respective feature. The last step of the process was to classification. The data set was uh, divided into training and test testing uh, data with an 80-20 split and stratified random sampling was used, which resulted in balanced data set. Finally, the training data was fed to various classifiers such as support vector machine, logistic regression, diffusion tree, and random forest. The performance of each model was then evaluated before and after tuning the model parameters. Uh, which brings to brings us to the uh, section, result section. The SVM classifier uh, had 85% of training accuracy and 73% of testing accuracy before fine-tuning the model. For fine-tuning purpose, grid search has been used. After fine-tuning, the results uh, from the same models have improved significantly. The SVM classifier has has yielded 92% testing accuracy after tuning. Other algorithms such as random forest, decision trees, logistic regression gave 81%, 80%, and 74% accuracy in detecting dementia respectively. So here you can see the confusion matrices uh, for the developed SVM model before and after tuning the hyperparameters. Uh, which shows the testing, training accuracy, test recall, and test area under the curve. This is the table for comparison com for the comparison of all the trained models. So it shows that SVM has performed uh, better in better than all other models with 92% accuracy and logistic regression has performed the worst with 74% accuracy. <clears throat> so in the discussion, uh, since uh, this is a classification problem, the evaluation matrices used in this system were as follows, which are accuracy, recall, area under the curve, and confusion matrix. After compiling the results from all the methods, it is evident that support vector machine has uh, gave the best result overall. However, the diffusion tree classifier gave the best true positive result 
Some more complex models like random forest classifiers suffered from an overfitting, overfitting issue. In conclusion, for de uh, deployment purpose, the SM model has been used for the best result among all other models. It has the best accuracy in detecting dementia among numerous patients. The system is simple and can easily help people by detecting dementia among, among them. The system models uh, could be improved by using a larger, larger data set and more machine, lo machine learning models such as ADA Boost, KNN, Majority Voting, and Backing. This will increase uh, reliability and enhance the performance of the system. Uh, this research has an impact in the life of general public. The machine learning system can help the general public get an idea about the possibility of uh, dementia in adult patients by simply imputing MRI data. Hopefully, it will help patients to get early treatment for dementia and improve their life. Uh, thank you everyone for your kind patience. And you can find, if you have any doubt, you can find me at jayatranik.org. Uh, thank you so much, Jay, for this interesting and illuminating talk. Now I open the floor to the audience. There, there are some questions from the audience. Chahin Shah asked, can you name the different types of dementia? Uh, sorry, I have, I have no idea about the different types of dementia. Uh, okay, Jay, no problem. We can move to the next question. Uh, Nupur asked, which hyperparameters we are tuned? So, they have not given the information about uh, the hyperparameters in the research paper. So most probably, but it would be about the learning rate and all. Uh, okay, Jay. Nupur asked second question. Is there any reason why SVM outperform? Uh, so basically, uh, this is a, a small data set, and uh, for that we need to uh, we need the algorithm uh, which are biased. So for that, SVM could have performed better. So one reason is that the data set is small and because the classification is binary and that's why the S1 might have performed better. Uh, hope it clarifies your doubt, Nupur. Uh, Vijay asked, how many healthy and Parkinson's patient data was included? Why any dementia detected in healthy individuals group? Uh, sorry, could you please, please repeat? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, how many healthy and Parkinson's patient data was included? Alzheimer's. Uh, sorry Alzheimer's. for the typing mistake. Alzheimer's. Okay, okay. Uh, how many healthy and Alzheimer's uh, disease patient data was included? Was any dementia detected in healthy individuals group? So there were a total of uh, 373 patients. And as this uh, confusion metric shows, there are uh, so before tuning, there is uh, no detection in the patients of what you are saying. But after tuning, there are four patients who did not have the dementia but have detected the dementia. Uh, hope it clears your doubt, Dr. Vijay. Uh, Numer asked, how can this model be used in the clinical settings? Um, so after the training the model, you need uh, these features from MRI scans. You need to calculate all this, and you just need to feed, feed uh, these features to the model. And after that, you will uh, get if get the result if, if the person has dementia or not uh, okay jay uh, dr bharti asked are all types of dementia can be detected by this algorithm uh, i'm not sure about that 
Uh, okay, Jay, thank you for answering all those questions. Uh, does anyone have any questions uh, regarding today's talk? If you, have, if you have any questions, you can type in the chat box. Uh, I see no further questions coming from the audience. Again, I want, I want to thank Jay for the excellent presentation. We got to learn a lot about the use of machine learning algorithms in the prediction of Alzheimer's disease. Jay, may I request you to go to your final slide? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Jay. Before we conclude this webinar, I would like to inform everyone that Soumya Sivarama will be addressing our next cell talk presentation on 30th November 2022. And the topic of her talk will be D sulfo vibrio bacteria are associated with Parkinson's disease. Thank you all for being here and for your kind attention. Hope to see you all at the upcoming presentation. Thank you so much.